I'm trying to stay calm. I'm really in pain, you know. I almost took Tylenol PM. So, uh, it's a burning, like, sensation in my chest and in the back of my head, the side of my neck on the right side. Um, I'm guessing it's just a, the COVID headache. I don't know, but I know that I've been trying to drink plenty of water and hot uh, fluids, soup and tea. Um, but I just feel really overwhelmed and I'm in pain. Um, and I called uh, 911. Um, I've called quite a few times over the last 10 days because certain things have happened to me and I just wasn't for sure what was happening, if it was serious or not. I have diabetes, asthma, or heart murmur. Um, and so tonight, um, the EMS worker basically told me, you know, they're going to call the police on me if I call again. So um, I just, you know, I really didn't understand that part. I'm not going to call him because I'm in pain. I'm uncomfortable. I need help. Um, she's like, well, EMS is for people who are actually dying. And I'm like, you know, in my mind, I, I think it's for whoever, you know, is having a dire emergency. But I don't know what their rules and regulations are. But I thought that was very hurtful um, because I was transported to the hospital earlier and they let me go. Um, they didn't do any lab work. They just monitored my heart um, and my breathing. But they didn't take any urine. They didn't take any blood. Um, but not that they could really do anything at this point. You know, my body has to fight it off. But if there is something that they could give me, you know, I would have, you know, at least tried it. But I don't know. But I just feel so overwhelmed right now and I'm in pain. And um, I wanted to talk about this because I thought that it was extremely unprofessional and insensitive. They say to me, well, you know, people died. Someone died. And, you know, today, you know that. And I'm thinking to myself, uh, I understand. I even said a prayer for that person when she mentioned it to me. I thought she was just making conversation. But I realized that was her way of saying, well, you're here on the way to the hospital alive. And someone somewhere else needs an ambulance. And they were dying or died. She said they died. That's what she said to me earlier. That, oh, somebody died in your neighborhood. Um, and gave, like, on Metalwood. That's like the main throughway where we live. And I prayed, and I was like, oh, wow. And I said, you know, I try to stay to myself and stuff. I'm trying to live a healthy life as best as I can until I can get myself in better shape. And she said to me, um, yeah, you know, I understand. But I realized now that was her way of shaming me. Because when she came to the door tonight, she said to me, well, you know, now I want it for people who are dying. And I'm like, I thought it was to assess, you know, when transport to the hospital was necessary, you know. You know, it's only, you know, only when people are dying. And I'm like, in my mind, people call an ambulance every day, all day, for various medical reasons. Um, and so, and so, she basically said to me, well, you know, you know someone died today, died earlier, while we were helping you. We couldn't get to them. You know, and that really hurt me, because I was like, well, that's not my fault, you know, which it wasn't. It's not, I apologize, and my condolences go out to that family. I even said a prayer right then and there, but... I felt like um, tonight, you know, she was trying to shame me because I keep calling. And I'm like, this is real for me. COVID is a very new thing. And so many people have it. And, you know, um, you know, go through different things. People are dying left and right. It's no joke. Um, and I'm just saying, I'm, I'm trying to be proactive. I'm in pain. I'm overwhelmed. Um, you know, I just need some help. Uh, you know, I don't want to be made to treat like I'm a burden. You know, but I, tonight really took the cake for me because she said, well, they're going to call the police. The police, the sheriff's office is going to respond because this is 911 abuse. And I'm just like, she's like, well, you've called so many times, 10 times in the last two weeks. And I'm like, each time I've called, I've had it's different issues, things have been wrong. Um, you know, and I, and I get it. But whether you respond to 10 different calls or one person 10 different times. I feel like um, you have to be professional, you know, and I get it. They're frustrated. Their jobs are hard. And God bless every EMS, firefighter, police officer. I know it's not easy, but I don't want to be made to feel like I'm such a burden when I'm telling you I need help, you know. So I'm going to try to stay up as long as I can because I'm in pain um, so that I can go to the hospital in the morning because I feel like when I lay down, the headache gets worse. Um so yeah, please be careful, wear your mask, wash your hands, you know, practice social distancing, this is not a joke, it really impacts your life and in a way that is uh, far beyond words.
right now, I feel like I can't breathe with my lungs are clear. My chest is burning. And I'm just like, wow, you know, if I could just do some things differently. I didn't even go out anyway. I don't do a lot of traveling unless I had to go to the store, to the doctors. But, you know, being around other people is, is you know, my biggest regret. But, yeah, I just, I wanted to get this out. Because I just, you have to be understanding and empathetic toward other people. And so with that being said, I definitely wasn't trying to, you know, take anything away from anybody. You know, and I, I feel so bad that that person passed away, you know. Um, but I look at it this way. Who's to say you wouldn't have received another call if it wasn't mine and had to go somewhere else and still wasn't available for that person, you know. Um, but I, I, I'm sincerely sorry for that family. Um, my condolences for your loss. Um, you know, but I'm not trying to abuse that one. I, I, I'm afraid, you know. Um, I'm overwhelmed. My body, um, my mind, you 